What's up guys, so season two faction rallies are over sadly, but I still do have a lot of footage of some faction weapons I do wanna drop for y'all. So in this one, I'll be going over the Dead Orbit Kinetic Pulse Rifle, the Eternal Slumber. Just a forewarning, all of this footage was caught before the 1.1.4 Go Fast update, so that's why it seems like I'm kinda slow and it doesn't fire as fast, cause a lot of things have changed since then. So first up, how to obtain, obviously during a faction rally, like you'll have to wait until the next expansion drops in season three for D2 to obtain this weapon, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but still it is very good. Let's go over the perks, so it comes with adaptive frame, a well-rounded grip, liable and sturdy. They have three sight options, the IS-5 circle, circular iron sights, short zoom greatly increases handling speed. The Model 6 loop, which is a red dot medium zoom, increases range and increases handling speed. They have the Mark 15 lens, which is an ocular sights long zoom, greatly increases range, decreases handling speed. You have two magazine options, you have ILO magazine, faster reloads when the magazine is empty, steady rounds, this magazine is optimized for recoil control, greatly increases stability, slightly decreases range. And then finally you have a straight perk under pressure, improves stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower. So here's a summary of what I use. So site-wise, I personally go with the IS-5 circle because it's the most open out of all the sites. You can see your surroundings and allows for the highest handling speed. Uh, the Model 6 loop isn't a bad option either if you feel like this weapon doesn't have enough range on it, but the zoom was just too much for me uh, because I like being able to see my surroundings when I aim and personally like, uh, I don't think this thing needs any more range considering it's archetype. Magazine wise, I personally go with steady rounds for that increased stability considering this archetype isn't the most accurate. Like draw mag isn't even a good option compared to steady rounds anyway, so you might as well just go with steady rounds. Lastly, it's trait perk under pressure. It's a pretty solid perk in Destiny 2 and I can, like you can really feel it uh, on this pulse when the magazine gets lower. Like having that increased stability and accuracy is good, especially when you get into consecutive firefights over and over and over again consistently. PVE wise, again, I don't have any footage. Y'all know I like to stick to the crucible and whatnot with these reviews, but I can safely say uh, that this weapon would perform very accurately with the stability and accuracy perks. Like the only other weapon in this archetype that would be good in PVE is the inaugural dress, just because just because it comes with uh, outlong kill clip. But other than that, this thing would be very, very stable and very, very accurate, especially when it comes to hitting crits. So PVP wise, this one performs pretty well in the Crucible and considering this archetype has been improved from 360 RPM to 390 and it has slightly increased damage. Like it's, it's, it was pretty good back then and guess what, it just got better. This is like the most stable pulse rifle in the archetype and it has extremely good recoil direction. Like adding a kinetic stability mod would essentially make this thing a up and down laser beam uh, at a mid range. Finally, my rating overall is a 7 slash 8 out of 10. Overall, this weapon performs extremely well in PvP considering it's not even close to the meta. Like, I highly recommend trying it out, especially now that the 1.1.4 update is implemented. All right, guys, you want to help support me? There'll be a link below to say best way to support me. I'll take it to like a four minute vid. Uh, it's not Patreon or anything like that. I think you guys get a lot more out of it than Patreon. If you check that out, I very much appreciate it. But if you don't want to do that, you can always like and subscribe to the channel as well. And if you do those things, that would be awesome. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you next time.